I'm not sleeping tonight. This isn't a hand puppet or an animatronic. And don't let their big eyes and gigantic mouths fool you. These birds are real, and they're the stuff of nightmares. <coughs> Turn up your sound. You'll want to hear this. This is a potu bird. You might have seen memes of this bug-eyed bird making the rounds on social media. Or maybe you've heard their iconic calls, like the one we just played for you. So why do they scream like that? Besides scaring us half to death. What do potu birds use their gigantic eyes and mouths for? And why do potus have one of the saddest stories in the world? There are seven species of potu birds, and they're all native to Central and South America. But not all of their calls are the same. Northern potus have the famous creepy, growling calls you heard earlier. Great potus have a more human-like call. It's a womp or bomp sound that some people have described as a groaning teenager calling for their mom. And finally, there's the common potu. Their calls are more pleasant to listen to as they sound like a flute. But their unique calls have inspired countless local myths and stories that aren't so pleasant. One of which is an Amazonian legend called Ai Ai Mama. This story is about two children abandoned by their parents in the woods. At night, the children magically turn into birds and can fly home. They eternally call out for their mother, singing the song Ai Ai Mama. So if they aren't the scariest birds in the world, they're definitely one of the saddest. But aside from the sad stories, can you guess what potus use their calls for? They're used to communicate with each other. Shocker. Male potu birds use their scary screeches to attract potential mates. Demonic screams aren't my cup of tea, but hey, whatever works. You do you, potu. And what's the deal with potu birds' oversized facial features? Their eyes might look ridiculous and comical, but they're helpful for the birds' nocturnal habits. Potu's large, luminescent eyes help them to see extremely well in the dark. So much so that their eyes easily reflect any source of light, like a flashlight. Okay, that's pretty freaky. And it doesn't help their creepy reputation. To stay alert and stop their conspicuous eyes from blowing their cover, potu birds have small slits in their eyelids. This lets them watch out for predators while taking their daily snooze. But in the cover of night, potu birds are very active. They expertly use their night vision to guide their massive mouths. Potus have pretty small beaks, but that doesn't stop them from catching some tasty insects. They've evolved to swallow their prey in a single bite. All potus have to do is open their mouths wide and scoop up as many bugs as they can fit down their gullets. If you're intrigued and brave enough to find these birds, let me warn you. They can be hard to find. There are plenty of them, but potu birds are masters of disguise. Their feathers perfectly blend into the trees they perch on, and they can hide in broad daylight by posing as a tree branch. Their undercover abilities combined with their slow movement and the slits in their eyelids let potu birds track anything approaching them. So it's safe to say that most potus will be long gone before you get anywhere close to them. That is, if you can even spot one. Eating lots of bugs at once and crying like a demon or an upset teenager is what potu birds do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>